guys. Welcome to another episode of Hear Us Out. I'm Ben. And I'm Chris, and this is a show where we talk about something pop culture. It could be movies, TV, books. Something old, something new. Yeah, and speaking of new, this week we review the brand new show, The Muppets. Not to be confused with The Muppet Show, which is not a brand new show. No, it's quite an old show. Yes, but uh, ABC... Yeah. Yes, yeah, ABC. ABC. It's on um, Tuesday nights at 8 on yeah. ABC. If you want to follow along, it'll only be the third episode uh, this week. So, it's if you're not familiar with The Muppets, I'm confused and I don't know what rock you've been living under. I don't even know why you're watching this. Yes. What are you doing? There was The Muppet Show back in the day. Fantastic program, variety type show. And this one is really kind of carrying on from that tradition, but only in a modern day sense. Absolutely. Um, it's kind of awesome, actually. They're dealing with uh, a new show called Up Late with Miss Piggy, and it's a late night talk show yeah. starring Miss Piggy. But this is kind of like a Larry Sanders show. Sanders? Larry Sanders show. Or Saunders. Sanders? 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 Saunders. Sanders show. Uh, also, that sort of behind-the-scenes feel, documentary style that's popular with The Office. Parks and Rec, Modern <laughs> Family. <laughs> you know, those ones where they do the, the cutaways and the talking heads and everything. Mockumentary style, I yeah. guess is what you would call it. Um, and I think it really fits the show because the old program, you always were seeing backstage what was coming up next and there were acts happening on stage. And lots of times your celebrity guests were doing acts on stage and you get to see part of what they're doing. But then you also get to see Kermit lose his mind backstage yeah. while he's trying to run the show. Yeah. And not much has changed no. outside of the style and the format. I mean, it's very much that. Um, uh, I want to talk about the, the actual the production itself mm. of the show for a minute. Um, it's produced by Bill Prady Productions. Um, and he actually, he's worked for Jim Henson Productions since 1982, actually. So he's no stranger to it. Um, and he's no stranger to television either, uh, because he's worked, uh, he's been a writer and producer for Big Bang Theory, uh, Dharma and Greg, Gilmore yeah. Girls. He's, he's no stranger to television, the small screen, if yeah. you will. And, uh, and I think you see that, the, the, that it is behind the scenes of Hollywood and because it's the Muppets, it's allowed to be blown up and way over the top and it must be a lot of fun for those types of people who are in the industry to be able to poke fun under the guise of the Muppets yeah. because really you, you can say no wrong. Uh, so if you were a fan of the old Muppets and you like the way the new Muppet films have been taking the Muppets mm. into a more contemporary feel, uh, then you'll probably enjoy the TV show, and I, yep. I'd recommend watching. Absolutely. I, if I were to give it a rating, yep. which is something that we've been known to do, uh, I would give it, I would give it four Fraggles, mm. um, and and uh, Hoggle from the uh, the Labyrinth. You remember Hoggle? Oh, I can't help you, old Jareth. Uh, I give it uh, three Dark Crystals. And uh, mm. Where's That Bird? Which I think it's a superb film. If you haven't seen it, check. And check out the Muppets. Ton of fun.